Education Officer Emily Sellen and I'm here at the Gary Morden Training Centre. Today we're going to show you a demonstration of what happens when we pour water onto a grease fire. Then we're going to show you what you should do if you do have a small grease fire in your home. Unattended cooking is the number one cause of home fires and home injuries. Even more concerning are those fires that involve large amounts of cooking oil. To prevent a grease fire in your home, always stand by your pan and look while you cook. If you ever have to step away, turn off the stove. If you do have a small grease fire at home, first, protect your hands with oven mitts, then find a secure fitting lid to cover and smother the flames. If you don't have that, a cookie sheet will do as well. Then turn off your stove, leave your home, and call 911. Now we're going to show you a dangerous demonstration of what happens when water is poured onto a grease fire. To do this, we have the help of a training officer who is wearing full protective gear. Never attempt this at home. When water is poured onto a grease fire, the water hits the bottom of the pan, boils extremely quickly, creating water vapor or steam. This causes the oil to splash out of the pan, creating a massive fireball. Never ever put water on a grease fire. Always have a secure fitting lid or cookie sheet nearby to smother the flames. And never leave your cooking area unattended. Stay safe everyone.